afternoon everybody, this is Tim Ewart Coleman and we're building freedom today at Pebble Spring Farm. Today we're talking about a very important project. We're talking about sulforaphane. Anybody heard of sulforaphane? Well, you find it in broccoli sprouts and you find it in other cruciferous vegetables like um, spinach and kale and broccoli. But my beautiful young daughter Mandisa um, helped me uh, with an experiment. It was a school experiment. She asked the question, how to best grow broccoli sprouts. Now, what I've checked on YouTube, people say, no, no, you put it in a dark cupboard. Now, broccoli sprouts come this way. Let me show you. They come, you buy them online um, from a company called Living Seeds. Check it out, www.livingseeds.co.za. Now, check inside here, you see? This is what the seeds look like. So what we did is we did an experiment and we compared three different options. Is it best to keep them in a dark cupboard? Um, in a, a shaded area on the windowsill or in a hothouse in a windowsill. What we do is we put a tablespoon of broccoli sprouts like this, put a bit of water. Now each one of these we put exactly the same amount of water, 75 millimeters of water a day in each of these. This one in the dark cupboard. Now you see how it turned out? It turned out um, yellowish. And now this is what the recommended method is that I found on the most of the YouTube sites. Put it in a dark cupboard. This one, a little bit greener. Check the roots underneath there. Mm -hmm. and this one, really green. Now, I don't know, but just this one just looks healthier to me. Surely the greener the better. Now, what we've been told, taste alright. What we've been told is that broccoli sprouts like these have 50 times more sulforaphane in them than you'd find in ordinary broccoli or in kale or uh, cabbage. Now sulforaphane does a whole lot of really really good stuff but Google it rather. Um, it's a neurotropic which is apparently something that makes you even think better but has a whole lot of benefits for longevity, getting your cells to communicate correctly at a, at a subcellular level. I don't even know. Just go check it out. What I can tell you is that I feel really good after eating it. How do we prepare this stuff? Well, I can tell you what I do. Take a whole bunch of this stuff, like this, and then uh, rinse it out. And we put it into our Nutribullet. Hmm? I use the Nutribullet 600 series, but you can, you can use a bigger one as well. And we plug this stuff in there, and we zhush it up. And it becomes like a green, uh, liquidy thing. I put it in a... Um, ice block uh, maker like this and then break them off and then I save them in a, um, in a lunch box in the, um, in the freezer and then when I make my smoothies, when I'm ready for smoothies I just pop one or two of these ice blocks in here one, two, I mix it with what? Blueberries, yogurt, almonds, um, you name it, I put it in there and um, that's how we make our um, uh, broccoli sprout smoothies, getting our regular dose of sulforaphane. You guys try it out. Tell me if you live longer. Tell me if you feel healthier. Tell me if you feel cleverer. Um, I'm interested to know because this is Tim Hewitt Coleman for Pebble Spring. Out.